Catherine Keener is here. Her work in Spike Jones being John Malkovich earned her attention and an Academy Award nomination. This year, her performance in Capote as Harper Lee has earned her a second Best Supporting Actress nomination. Here is the trailer for Capote. Have you read the article about the killings in Kansas? I think that's what I want to write about. Hello, my name is Truman Capote. I was in Marilyn's apartment just last week. The four Matisses hang on her wall. Two are upside down. <laughs> Kansas Bureau of Investigation, KBI. <laughs> But we're not looking for any inside information. I don't care if you catch whoever did this. I care. Because since I was a child, folks have thought they had me pegged because of, you know, the way I talk. And they're always wrong. You will be stunned by Perry Smith. You took care of you as a child. Orphanage. It's as if Perry and I grew up in the same house. He stood up and went out the back door. Well, I went out the front. Guilty. What is the sentence? Death. When I think how good my book can be, I can hardly breathe. He'll be dead by September. I'm going to help find you a proper lawyer. Thank you. His brother and his sister killed themselves. Did you tell him your mama did the same thing? If those boys get off, I'm coming to Brooklyn to hunt you down. They're torturing me. He says it's the nonfiction book of the decade. We still haven't talked about that night. What's the name of your book? I can't finish till I know what happens. The world will see you as a monster. I don't want that. I've decided on a title for my book. In Cold Blood. Isn't that good? I am pleased to welcome Catherine Keener to this table for the very first time. Welcome. Thank you. I'm now, pleased to be here. Now, what is all this I read and hear about you not liking interviews and media and all of that and sort of saying, I only want to do it in a very short burst and then... <laughs> is that what it says in there? Yeah, somebody wrote that. Um, well, it's true. Because you seem so <laughs> easy and natural and, and comfortable. You. Well, I'm not. <laughs> it's not no, true, is it's it? Not no, not at all. Um, but I, I, you know, when I do do it, I make sure and try and yeah. try and enjoy it and do it with people I admire, um, present company included. Thank you very and, much. And um, so, yeah, and you know, you have to kind of you have to kind of play along, mm -hmm. or else they'll get you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you've seen it so, among your friends how it gets them. It they does. Have no privacy and nothing. Right. Or or you, if you just do a little bit, it's enough to kind of. Um, satisfy the people who put all this money in, into the movies and stuff like that. Well, it's not, they, I don't find it satisfies them, but it'll at least keep them at bay. <laughs> so. When something like Capote comes along, yeah. do you just say, thank you, God, thank you, God. I mean, here is an actor yeah. I want to work with. Here's an interesting young director yeah. and a great story. Well, yeah, and it came kind of out of nowhere because um, I, I came on very late. These guys are all friends, Bennett Miller. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Since they were kids. Since they were kids. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You yeah, interviewed right. Bennett and Philip, right? Right. right. Um, I call him Philly Blunt. Just, I don't know why, but <laughs> suits him. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so they've all been sort of, you know, dreaming this dream for a long time together. And then uh, the woman who was going to play Harper Lee fell out for some reason. And so this job came up and I met Bennett and he decided to hire me and... Then I really was nervous about it because I realized there's not a lot of information about Harper Lee. Yeah. I only had some still photographs of her, and uh, but, you, but you liked To Kill a Mockingbird. I love To Kill yeah. a Mockingbird, of course. So you it's knew the, best the book. book of the, oh, I knew the book, and I dreamed of Scout, and I had a haircut like hers, and the whole thing. Um, but still, it's really big shoes to, you know, you never could fill them, but just to kind of address it. She only wrote one book. She wrote one book, but she did write essays. So she wrote some essays in um, some magazines, women's magazines back then. And they were very informative. They were beautifully, beautifully written. And you could see what a compassionate sensibility and just person yeah. she was. So. And what was her... Or is, excuse me. Yeah, she's exactly. alive, she's and well alive and well. What is beautiful. What role did she play in Capote's life? Well, 
Um, I, I think that she was, uh, you know, just sort of one of his, um, be- well, he, she was his best friend. Yeah. They were best, best friends. And I think that he probably looked to her for ideas. How, how, <laughs> no, about, but, tru- how about truth telling? Yes, I think that she was probably the, a real good meter for the, the BS that he probably enjoyed. Yeah. You know, and well, you see times. it in the film. Yeah, you do. I mean, you I mean it's clearly beautiful. see it. Philip does it so wonderfully. Yeah. But he's not like that at all, which is funny. He's a very straight guy, you know, he's yeah, a very direct yeah. person. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Did, did you meet her? Did you talk to her? Did no, you? I never even tried. I, I had heard that she was very private, and um, as evidenced by the lack of information on her. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, there were a couple of pictures of her laughing, smoking, smoking a cigarette and laughing with her head thrown back and... Like peering over a window and these dungarees, and we could just see, you know, she was, I don't know, you know she had a thing about her. But um, when I heard that she was very private and probably, you know, wasn't real keen on the idea of people making a movie about, you know, in which she was included, um, I just thought, oh God, because my first thought, I'm just going to march right down to Alabama. <laughs> <Not her door. laughs> and then I heard that, you knock, know, knock, knock, exactly, you know, you know my dad's from the Come South. On, I know, Come yeah, out, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You just like sit on the porch and talk. But, um, but you know, I didn't You knocked I it from the script. I, I just, yeah. And from, from Bennett, and they just helped me. And I don't know, mm. just, it was, it's easy to be, fr- you know, be friends with Philip, so. That came very Speaking naturally. Speaking of that, tell me yeah. his performance. I mean, he, I everybody can't. expects him to be the. Well, yeah. The well, I think he Academy already. Award, yeah. He's already won everything else that he's been up for. Well, yeah, he has, and I mean, I don't know if he's going to win. I hope so, because I think that he deserves to. Yeah. I, there were great performances this year, and Phillips is just sort of in another, not in a, a higher level, but in a different one. I think. What do you mean by that? I just think it's sort of um, he's kind of in his own. It's sort of a world apart in terms of uh, what people did this year. I, and I, I can't see another one like it. Did you so. see that happening before your eyes? Mm-hmm. I, think, I think he probably recognized that he was being kind of pushed around a lot inside. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I did. Yeah, you, you knew that he was going. He was, he, I think he was really anticipated the worst of it, and it happened. And, um, what does that mean? Anticipated the, the worst, worst of, of the experience, like yeah. how just oh, it was going to get his hands around. The, it was just going to deal with yeah. him, yeah, and it did. And um, and you know, Bennett was there to not make him to feel. I, I read this, feel too comfortable, but yeah. you know, just be there for like because, as a friend, because so. sometimes they say you can see it if you're there. A you director can. can see it, yeah, or a co-star can yeah. see it. No, I was or, a or witness. I witness to it. I, that's how I felt. Yeah. When he when he got it, yeah, oh yeah, you knew, you knew, and it just it it worked on him. It really was hard to be that that you know kind of person. And what yeah. had happened, uh, it, it what it does is just releases you to be as creative as you can because you've knocked it in terms of everything Absolutely. else. Yeah, it's exponential. Then it's like an yeah. idea, and once you 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 know, I mean, ideas aren't. I read this somewhere, but ideas are not explicable you know that that they mm. cease to become ideas when you start describing them and explaining them and um, they're just they're infinite had it happened to you already um in my own no no with, with no Phil? with harper lee oh gosh had it happened to me with I mean, him? you were already there you'd knock the part and you were just waiting no god no no i was sp- insecure i'm not through through the whole thing insecure I, yeah yeah i do I, it's true I mean, I'm secure about admitting it. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, you're just like, you're trying to get that, you're trying to just have that moment of clarity where you, you, it's just, you know, between you and it, and there's nothing, nothing else. And, um, yeah, a couple of times you get that. It's not, it doesn't sustain the whole, the whole performance ever. 